हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रूरल सेटलमेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रूरल सेटलमेंट्स देन फैक्टर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रूरल सेटलमेंट्स टाइप्स ऑफ रूरल सेटलमेंट्स क्लस्टर्ड सेटलमेंट्स सेमी क्लस्टर्ड सेटलमेंट्स हेमलेटेड सेटलमेंट्स एंड लास्टली डिस्पर्स सेटलमेंट्स First of all let's discuss about rural settlements rural settlements refer to human habitation areas characterized by lower population density agricultural activities as a primary economic base with a focus on natural resource utilization the sparsely located small settlements are called villages specializing in agriculture or other primary activities these settlements often exhibit distinct social structures cultural practices and infrastructure compared to urban areas now moving on to factors responsible for different types of rural settlements physical features nature of terrain the topography of an area influences settlement patterns altitude settlements at higher altitudes may be more dispersed due to limited habitable land climate climate affects agricultural productivity and resource availability influencing settlement distribution and patterns availability of water areas with abundant water may support clustered settlements while water scarcity may lead to dispersed or semi clustered settlements cultural and ethnic factors social structure social hierarchies within communities may determine settlement layouts dominant groups may occupy central areas while marginalized groups may settle on the outskirts caste and religion cultural practices and religious beliefs can shape settlement patterns with communities often preferring to live close to places of worship or within their own social groups security factors defense against thefts and robberies security concerns may influence settlement patterns with communities opting for clustered or hamleted settlements for mutual protection and defense types of rural settlements Rural settlements in India can broadly be put into four types: clustered, agglomerated or nucleated, semi-clustered or fragmented, hamleted and dispersed or isolated. Clustered settlements. These settlements are characterized by compact or closely built-up areas of houses. These settlements have a distinct living area separated from surrounding farms, barns and pastures. Intervening streets within the closely built up area often exhibit recognizable geometric patterns such as rectangular radial or linear layouts Such settlements are commonly found in fertile alluvial plains and in the northeastern states of India In some cases people opt for clustered villages for security or defense reasons as observed in regions like the Bundelkhand region of central India and Nagaland In Rajasthan where water scarcity is a concern clustered settlements are necessitated to maximize the utilization of available water resources semi clustered settlements these settlements often arise from a tendency towards clustering within a limited area within a predominantly dispersed settlement pattern this pattern can also result from the segregation or fragmentation of a large compact village into smaller distinct sections In such cases one or more sections of the village society may choose or be compelled to reside slightly away from the main cluster or village Typically the central part of the main village is occupied by the land owning and dominant community while lower strata of society and menial workers settle on the outer periphery These semi clustered settlements are widespread in regions like the Gujarat plain and certain parts of Rajasthan Hamleted settlements These refer to the fragmentation of a single settlement into multiple physically separated units each sharing a common name. These units are known by various terms such as panna, para, palli, nagla, dhani etc depending on the local dialect. The segmentation of a large village into hamlets is often motivated by social and ethnic factors. Hamleted settlements are more frequently found in regions like the middle and lower Ganga plain. Chhattisgarh and the lower valleys of the Himalayas dispersed settlements isolated these are characterized by isolated huts or small hamlets scattered across remote jungles or on small hills with farms 
or pastures on the slopes. Extreme dispersion of settlements is often caused by the highly fragmented nature of the terrain and land resource base in habitable areas. Many regions in Meghalaya, Uttaranchal, Himachal Pradesh and Kerala exhibit this type of settlement pattern reflecting the diverse geographical and environmental conditions of these areas. Now is the time for practice question. First of all, prelims based question. In rural settlements, what is the main factor contributing to the emergence of the hamleted patterns? Geographic isolation, agricultural productivity, religious diversity or industrial development. And now mains practice. Discuss the social implications of semi-clustered rural settlements compared to clustered ones. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.